Welcome, City Skylines fans, back to Capital City. This is Gomer with Gomer Games. Okay, we've been uh, working on the uh, hotels here, and uh, we've got the Luxor 2, and the Mall, and the MGM Grand with some parking. Uh, we've got a couple other hotels back here. Uh, uh, I think it's the Continental, uh, Intercontinental, I think, and the uh, Hotel from Bangkok. Uh, but uh, great... Uh, Great hotels there, great assets. I got those detailed. What we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to fill in this little triangle space here with a uh, smaller hotel and some additional parking and stuff. Uh, just kind of a, a real quick video on uh, detailing that type of stuff. Uh, I wanted to fill in a little bit on what we did off camera. Uh, we did put the uh, do some detailing work over here, put some trucks and trailers in. Uh, for uh, you know, much needed supplies and everything for the hotel, and then uh, obviously we wanted to leave. Uh, I'm thinking that this these walkways and everything would be open, so that way people could get to uh, the mall and everything. Uh, added a little bit of parking here on the back. Um, I'm imagining this would be like employee parking, maybe, and this would be overflow parking for. Uh, Guess and stuff like that is uh, is uh, what I'm kind of uh, kind of imagining there, uh, but added a, a few little just details in there um, for the the building itself. I think I did add a little bit more uh, uh, trees, a little bit more around here, and then we'll be working on this later. Uh, we're gonna fill that in probably the next video, maybe. Uh, we might do this section down here first. Because uh, I really um, anticipate, I really am looking forward to this. Because I have a plan for this, and I really like this idea right here. So I think we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started here. Now this uh, hotel here, unlike the other one, the luxury hotel here, and uh, the Lexor 2, the MGM, these things are grand hotels. They're huge. I think we just need like a smaller uh, a smaller hotel in this little area right here. Um, nothing, uh, you know, too tiny, but but still a, a pretty good sized hotel, but smaller compared to uh, the rest of these. So we're going to use this uh, asset called the Weston. It is based off of, uh, I've heard of the hotel chain before, I don't think I've ever stayed in one, but I have heard of one. But it's, it's a great asset, it's got... Uh, I'm going to place it right there, and uh, but it's got a little uh, cafe seating area here. Um, the details are, are great. It's got some garage doors on the back there, and uh, I think this is the main entrance here. It's got a little uh, seating area around here. I like the shape of it. I think it just works for this area here. And then these, I'm not sure if this would be offices or rooms. Maybe these would be like conference rooms. And they would overlook the mall and uh, the Luxor too, and everything. I think that would just be a great view to hold a, a meeting or a conference or something. Um, I think that uh, that would work. So we're going to put that in there, and then uh, I'm thinking I downloaded a uh, parking garage that I had uh, ages ago, and for one reason or another, either it was broken at one point or. Um, it, um, I just, un, uh, I just unsubscribed to it. The old parking garage, and I'm pretty sure that this is that built, that same um, garage that I had like a, ages ago, a long time ago. Because I really like it. It's got the uh, uh, walkway that you can put on it there, and I just really like the shape of it, the design on the outside of the building. Um, I just really like it. It's got a little bit of wear on the concrete, um, so I just I just really really like it there. Okay, so we're gonna place a couple of those. Yes, two of those. We're gonna place two of those in this area right here to add some additional um, parking. Um, the uh, luxury hotel wouldn't be too happy about that because <laughs> these rooms here would be overlooking that. But on the same token, they have uh, the green space, the river. And uh, you know all this area here for these rooms here, but but still, um, do some additional uh, 
uh, parking and everything here. So we're going to go ahead and grab a um, plain road here. And we'll run it. I think we're just going to go ahead and run. Go run it down at 90 degrees so it meets up with this, and then just run it 90 degrees there and, and then see how that works. And then we'll try to fit them in there, and then if we need to tweak it a little bit, we can do that. Uh, that. And this one isn't a big deal, um, it fits in here quite nicely. Trying to decide if I want that right on the road or back just a little bit. Yeah, I think I want that more on the road and I'm probably going to move it. Uh, oh, I do need it back. I forgot about that road on the uh, in the middle there. That's the other thing about, unlike some of the other garages, uh, this does have a uh, connection point um, built into the garage itself for both a pedestrian walkway and um, a road uh, connection, uh, which is great. So let's go ahead, let's try it like this, and then we'll take, I would prefer it to be this plain road, which I guess I could switch it to that. I might do that actually. And then uh, grab a node and that. There we go. That looks good there. And then obviously, yeah, this right here. I don't worry about that. That fills in. Uh, that road filled once we get that tape. Okay, now I'm not going to put a walkway up here connected to this. Um, there's there's no doors, which I guess technically you could put them in there. It kind of overlaps that um, fence there, so I'm going to take that out of there. I'm going to use uh, uh, touch this. Um, I guess it's upgraded to untouchable. Um, oh, here, use the classic uh, touch this tool. Now, the multi uh, uh, multi purpose tool um, has a lot of these features built into it, built into it. But I don't use that because it conflicts with some other things that I'm using. So I don't I don't use that one for this particular project. So. Uh, I still use this classic one, but they just literally just upgraded this uh, not too long ago, so they are still upgrading it, and it still does work. But the way this works is you click on that, click on the classic, and whenever you click on a road that is connected to an asset, it is red, or excuse me, green, sorry, it is green. So this is green, and, and let's see if we can get in there, and, and that's green. And so you can see those two are connected to that asset. So when you delete the asset, those roads or that footpath disappears. Where these are all red. So these are not connected to any sort of assets or anything like that. So in order to delete that footpath there, uh, you just highlight it, double click on it, and it turns red. So then it is gone. And you can just highlight it again. It's gone. And for some reason, this... Uh, pillar will not disappear with the bulldozer. You have to go in with move it um, and just pick it with move it and delete it with move it. I'm not quite sure why that's uh, why that's like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same thing with this road here. See if that works. Like it's working. There it goes. Okay. So then I want to go in and upgrade to the plain road here because I prefer the parking to be this plain road 
but looks like you're actually parking on the concrete. I think that just looks better. It's my personal preference. Uh, some people like the, uh, the there's several different parking uh, uh, mods out there. I mean, there's, there's, there's probably at least a half a dozen of them. Um, well, and they all work well. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I have a couple of them. Uh, I have one right here. This is the uh, uh, parking lot roads, and I, I use them different in different ways. Um, but I prefer, I just prefer using the plain road and then placing these uh, these parking lots on the side there. So I just think I think it's just more versatile that way, and I just like it. I also think it looks more authentic. Uh, if you look at pictures of Google Earth, Google Maps, uh, I think it looks more like the parking lots that you see in real photographs versus um, uh, the darker uh, uh, photographs. Because yes, asphalt uh, is darker when you first lay it, but it's, it quickly turns to a gray color uh, after a number of uh, weeks, uh, a number of months, it's, it turns gray. All right, so let's see if we can uh, plop this other building in here. Uh, hmm, do I want it facing this way? Or do I want it facing this way and then... I think I want it to face it this way, and then we'll go ahead and use move it to move it more into place. I think is what we're gonna do. And uh, let's move it first, and then we'll play around with uh, the roads and everything. So I want it right here. a little bit better. Talk about some discount rooms though. Um, <laughs> get a, a view of the parking garage. Um, and see it, it does it overhangs the sidewalk just slightly but not not really that much. I mean whether they would allow that or not I don't know. Probably not but uh, but it's 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 a game so we're, we're gonna go with it. Um, it's not overhanging that much. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and change this one before I even put the other road in. And then... I'm going to grab this node. Pull this node. Pull this road, I should say. There we go. And then uh, go in to get rid of the footpath. down just a little bit um, yeah that's fine because we're not going to allow parking uh, no we've got an update uh, we're not going to allow parking on the side of the road yeah we'll go ahead and allow it on the other side but we're not going to allow it on the side of the road and um, and then obviously we can't park on this side of the road because of uh, the garage doors there. Um, yeah, so we're going to leave that. And then uh, I'm going to try to put some parking stalls in here underneath this parking garage. So 
Uh, we're not going to allow it on that side either. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good there. And then uh, I was thinking maybe we need a uh, maybe we need another entrance over here. Maybe we'll use the center point. Um, an entrance is right there. I think that works. Uh, Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. So then I want to go through, I'm going to go ahead and just concrete uh, this all over using uh, the, uh, the brush there and just concrete all that over. And then obviously we'll put in some uh, greenery and stuff. We'll put in uh, maybe some curbs. Uh, there's curbs props and put some trees in and that type of stuff. May put in a, a couple grass uh, areas here. But the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put in a couple parking, uh, couple parking assets right here. Now you can't put it all the way across uh, because there's a ramp that goes underneath the building itself. As you can see, it connects to the road, so there wouldn't you wouldn't be able to park under here. Probably would only be able to park maybe under here. Um, maybe one set of stalls on this side, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do this side here. And uh, I'm going to try to place that in there to see if I can get that to work. Um, I think it would be just cool to see cars underneath there. Uh, so we're going to uh, see if we can place that under there. So let's go ahead and grab, we probably need a, uh, see I'm thinking a five maybe, that might be too much. Yeah, yeah that's too much, let's go down to a four, yeah, and then we'll go ahead and place now we're going to have to move them with the move it. So let's go ahead and place uh, one there. And then we'll grab the uh, the other side, the 4R, and one there. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be able to grab both of these at the same time. Uh, Be able to grab both of them at the same time without grabbing the building itself. And these are considered buildings, so there's no way to distinguish between this and the uh, parking. So, so yeah, we're going to have to move these to move these manually, uh, one at a time. Um, question is right now is how to grab. Uh, I guess push this out here actually let's just go ahead and let's spin them all the way over there and then we'll move this back to where this is supposed to go and make sure that it looks pretty good uh, before we move those parking parking lots my main concern is to make sure this road is nice and straight and it is okay. That was my main concern. Just make sure that uh, it's nice and straight there. And then we can grab these roads. A lot of people place these elsewhere and then just move them into place. Um, I like to try to at least put them in place before uh, before moving them. But 
sometimes it doesn't always work, so you have to kind of move things around. Try to even those up a little bit. There, there we go. I think that looks uh, really nice under there like that. So that would be maybe employee parking or uh, uh, maintenance parking or maybe just garage overflow. Uh, who knows? I mean, you know, you can do whatever you wanted to do there. We do the same thing over here on the other side. Um, using, uh, yeah, I could use this road as a... Uh, yeah, let me see if I can grab those two. Again, I don't think I'm going to be able to grab them using, uh, without getting, uh, let's turn the nose segments on. Let's see if I can grab these. Oh, very nice. Okay. So then we want to uh, rotate this around this direction. Yes. And we want it exactly 90 degrees. Uh, so let's see. And again, we're going to have to place it the front of these sticking out. Because there's not much room in the back there at all. There's enough room on the road there. Yeah, there is. And hopefully we didn't run out the back here. Because we don't want to run into the sidewalk. No, that's perfect. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. So, uh, that looks pretty good there. Alright, so then I'm thinking uh, maybe now that we have those in there. I'm thinking what we need for uh, some additional area here. Uh, or some additional decoration is maybe just a couple green um, areas. I'm trying to decide if I like that or not. Um, I don't think I really like this right here. I think leave those little squares there. That works. And then I'm actually, I think I'm going to put two more right here. Just a thing going on there. Um, on this block. I think that just uh, looks good there. And then maybe, maybe not the, I think the four might be a bit much for this corner, but let's take a look at it. See, I think that's a little bit too much, but maybe if we just put a single tile as the cultivated grass. Although we could run it all the way down. Yeah, we could run this all the way down. Yeah, 
Yeah, bear with me a minute. This is going to be... Yeah, I'm not going to like that. Okay. Although we could move this building over. And then there we go. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then put some shrubbery and stuff in. Um, maybe even uh, another green here. Here. Yeah, it breaks up a block considerably. I'm not sure what to do over here. I may put in, um, not sure what to do right here. Um, not sure what to do because we need something there. But, uh, but like the uh, recycling trucks, garbage trucks can come in. And uh, grab the dumpster right there and then uh, go down and. over here and grab this so I always try to look at the practicality of uh, the designs to to make sure uh, that works but I guess we could use some of these uh, curb props that I've used elsewhere uh, in the uh, project itself not sure why that took, up, took so long to load um, but I guess I could use some of these um, props here. And, uh, you can do some really cool stuff right here. Uh -huh. yeah. So I might, uh, might do that. All right. Well, we're coming up on 30 minutes here. This is just going to be a short video. Wanted to do this little corner here um, uh, just to uh, get this and out. I think we're going to do some trees. Let's do that real fast. We've got uh, a minute or so left. Um, so let's put in uh, some small trees. Seven meters. Yeah, just some little guys, nothing, um, nothing too overwhelming, and uh, just slightly taller than bushes. Ever since the promenades update, prop line tools have been doing that, um, which I think, again, that's another one of those multi-tool uh, Uses. I think that's in, you could use multi-line tool or multi-tool uh, to you to do that, but um, I don't because it conflicts with several other things that I'm doing. All right, there we go. Okay, I think that looks uh, really good. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If uh, you think anybody would like the video, feel free to share that. 
and then uh, we'll see you next time.